Hi everybody. So this is uh, the day when we start putting the rudder together with the nice fresh fixed left skin. This is technically the very tail end of the last video. Don't know why I put that in. Well, it's not a bad idea actually. Oh anyway, so here I am clicking on the trailing edge of the rudder. Make sure the whole thing fits. Uh, I actually ordered some double-sided 3M sticky tape. It used to be that you would put this on using uh, Pro Seal, which is a tank sealant, which you'll become all too familiar with. But my plan said use uh, double-sided sticky tape, so I ordered the very specific one that they that they were uh, you know suggested, and it's a 3M tape, very durable. It's one of these things where the tape actually cures and then it becomes a permanent addition to whatever it is that you've put together. Okay, so there I, so I have this nice piece of sh uh, angle aluminum that I had, uh, and I'd seen other people suggest this, is that you use the angle aluminum as a way to keep the trailing edge straight while everything is kind of sealing, which makes sense. So that's what, that was uh, drilling out the holes for that. So I'm clicking the trailing edge. First, I, you, so you put the double-sided sticky tape on both sides of the trailing edge. Well, you actually technically you only have to do one at a time. You do one, then you remove the backing of the tape, and then you very carefully place the trailing edge onto, in this case, it's the right skin and Clico it up and then once that's in place and you can see the tape is there so I have put the tape on the other side and this is actually part of the final assembly so the first thing you do is you go from the bottom and you basically sew this thing up like a zipper and here's the camera angle you can't see anything in so basically you're going to zip this thing up like a zipper like I said you peel the skin all the way back and you start at the very bottom all you have to do is pop rivet the two stiffeners together and towards the back, which is no easy trick, but if you have a very small pop rivet gun like I do, which is a piece of shit, then it will fit uh, in there no problem. Then you uh, pop rivet the uh, then left skin stiffener to the cross brace in the front. Uh, so the main spar isn't even put in yet, right? So we're doing all the internals first. So it's just three uh, three pop rivets, and then you kind of fold the skin down a little bit more to get to the next set. I was able to do it by myself, no problem. Uh, I know some people it does help to have a partner holding the skin back. Uh, one thing is as you are at putting the trailing, or I should say, as you are adding these rivets and folding the skin down, the trailing edge will then want to be in contact with the stiffener, of course. So what I do is as I'm moving up and doing these pop rivets, I'm reaching behind and pulling out small strips of the adhesive backing of the double-sided sticky tape. So that as it goes up, the skin can then kind of grab and then, of course, uh, click go behind it. It's nice to see that I give everyone an angle where they can actually see what's going on. This looks like I'm trying to crawl into the rudder. Thank God. Okay. Next day, apparently, since I changed clothes. So I've got the trailing edge all done. And I think it's definitely been sitting for a while. So, first thing that you do after all of the 
everything is riveted up is you place the forward spar assembly which includes the horn there that you can see and everything else you place it into the front uh, now this is one of those places where you really don't you can't reach you know through the skin to put solid rivets through so all of the cross braces will get pop riveted onto the front spar And that was a pretty simple process. Right, so now that the main spar is in, we can put in the rest of the accessories for the bottom spar, including that attached strip. So the attached strip is for uh, your lower rudder fairing, uh, which you'll be doing later. And that's just a matter of doing some squeezing. So, so we're going to put that on and then attach some more pieces to the bottom in the next video.